Are you ready to roll the dice? Thank you for coming to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you an interesting position from my match. The score is 0027. Red roll 64. How do you play this dice? I'm gonna give you 5 seconds to pick up your own choice. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Have you decided? If you want to think more, it's no problem. You can pause the video and restart it. Okay, let's get started. Step number one. My thought process over the board. First of all, I checked the race. Red is behind by 16 pips before the roll. So even after the roll, still red is behind by 6 pips. That's why I automatically excluded leaving the anchor. We generally leave the high anchor when we are ahead in the race. Then I check the structure of red. We generally categorize backhand positions into two groups. One is priming structure, another is blitzing structure. Do you think which structure red has? It's not difficult. Red has no stacked point. Red has not made the two point, one point yet. Red already made a bar point. That means red has a typical priming structure. It's not a blitzing structure. That's why I also excluded attacking play from 11 to 1 because of a priming structure. Then I had the image before I roll the dice. I want to fill my 5 point to complete a full prime. So with any 6s, any 3s, I do slot on the 5 point. And if white misses, I do complete a full prime. Yeah, that's my thought process. Step number two, XG analysis. Okay, let's check what XG says. Look at this. Leaving the anchor, actually, it's a double falcon play, is the best. Slotting on the five point is a blunder. Attacking on the ace point is even worse. But why? Step number three, the benefit of a double falcon play. Okay, let's examine the benefit of a double falcon play. Obviously, this play gives white a double shot. Any twos, any fours, white can hit. However, white's home board is weak with the inner blot. Okay, even though we can give white a pretty good number. Okay, I can give white 4-5. Now, white can do hit and cover at the same time. It's one of his best dice. But still, white's winning chance is not so high. Only 37%. That means red is still clearly the favorite. Okay, white has two joker, double two, double four. But with other 34 numbers, red is clearly the favorite. Plus, double falcon play has a obvious advantage, which is supplying checkers to the front line. Originally, red has 13 checkers in the zone. But if White provides uh, extra two checkers. Now, red will have 15 checkers in the zone. It makes uh, red to make a full prime much easier. It's a big benefit. Now, we get to the final stage, step number four. Finally, we have to compare two good options. One is double falcon play. Another is slotting on the 5 point. So which is better? How we can compare them? So let's compare the downside. After slotting on the 5 point, 
even though white homeboard is weak, any hitting number by white is pretty good. Let's say we give white 5-4 and check the winning chance. Oh, it's a malfunction of XG. However, I believe the winning chance is correct. So after white rolls 5-4, white's winning chance gets 56%. Now, white is a favorite. That's amazing. So any fours plus 3-1 in total 30 numbers, white will become favorite. That makes big difference. On the contrary, if uh, red chooses a double falcon play, in that case, as I mentioned, white has only two jokers, double twos and double fours. So, with other 34 numbers, red is clearly the favorite. That's the reason double falcon play is the best. Did you get it? If you have any questions, you can leave any comment. And if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. I wish you good luck and good dice. Bye for now.